Good morning, good morning, good morning. Here we are in Blythe, Back in California. Blythe, California. Uh -huh. I have to buy a little piece of angle iron to fix something on my bus. And we ate at a nice little restaurant and it's called what, baby? Steaks and Cakes. Steaks and Cakes. Yep. And it's kind of cool. It's uh, been here for a long time, obviously. When the Formica has wear through, uh, <laughs> wear spots all over it, you know it's been there for a long time. But, uh, I have something to show. They have lots of tractors and stuff here. Okay, baby, show me that. What is that? That is Jim's new replacement for his fanny pack. Yay! So it's a little ba little bitty backpack. So, uh-huh. And it holds uh, everything and, he needs it to hold. And I love it. It's yeah, really it great. It holds a lot of stuff. GoPro easily in there, and then the other G7X in there. And guess what? We got our other, is it still recording? Uh, yeah. And we got our other G7X. We found out that we had a four-year warranty on it. And it was only a little over three years old. So after he dropped it and broke the screen and everything, we sent it back to them. They fixed it all up and sent it back. So now we each have a camera. Isn't that so awesome? That's cool. So and now we have the GoPro. We're going to be seeing some footage from Miss Debbie. <laughs> that she is the... We'll see how often I do that. Videographer. Once in a while. I usually forget that I'm videoing and just start taking pictures of the ground and everything else. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is fun. So look at all these old tractors out here though. They've got lots of lots of old tractors around their restaurant, which is really cool. I love this old equipment like this. And we're oh uh, 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 up on the uh, river. Uh, Mer like Meredith? Uh, no, the um. Oh, Bucky's. Bucky's. Oh, yeah. oh Bucky's. Yeah, Bucky's. I love me some yeah. Bucky's, man. Yeah. Bobby's going to show us something on the map here. Okay. <laughs> when you go on Highway 8 here, across into uh, yeah. <laughs> California right here, the great Imperial Sand Dunes, they charge a fee for people to camp around the sand dunes and all. Uh huh. And if you come over here more, they'll tell you that's the only. Every place else you go across here, you got to pay to stay. Uh -huh. There's no more like free BLM land. But there is a way on over here, but you'll, you'll discover that later on. Okay. You'll pull your maps out and stuff and look. But if you pull in here, you can get brochures, maps, and everything. And over here, a little bit further, I don't know how many miles, right here at this one four, I think it's this exit. There's a road that goes, there's hot springs there. Oh, and you can camp, it's BLM campsite too. The hot springs are free. But they got a big campground there, and it's nice. Okay. They got some shade trees and all that kind of stuff. But awesome. the springs are nice. But that's as far as we got. I would recommend stopping here and get all the maps and information of the area. I'll do, I'll do that because that's a that's a nice little stop there. Okay. California's got some great information. But there's camping up here on the Salton Sea, all over the place. Well, these are all our buddies. We're leaving, headed headed down towards Mexico. And uh, Bobby and Sharon, and look at all these beautiful girls. How did that Nick get such beautiful girls? That's what I want to know. And their bus is, I love their bus. I love the chrome wheels. Man, they look great on there. Hey, baby, what's going on? Having a campfire out here. Yes, we are. Side. We do have a highway not too far from us. Yeah, that doesn't bother me. Nah, doesn't me either. But people might hear it on the on the tape, right? Mm -hmm. But it's Probably okay. Doesn't bother me. So how are you feeling? It was kind of a little stressful this morning trying to get away. Uh, yeah, we made some decisions that uh, to go to Mexico and just talk to them about the dental work. So we canceled that appointment. Then we had misplaced some wires. Uh, uh, Maisie, the wires for hooking our uh, car up, the electrical that do the lights. So we had to go to Walmart, which fortunately was just half a half a mile. Half a away. mile. Mm -hmm. So we drove over there, and they had what we needed, and we got it all hooked up. So it's all, we're all copacetic now. Yep. 
<laughs> I love you, baby. Love you too. Okay, babe, we're at breakfast. How's your breakfast? It's really good. It's a sausage and Swiss cheese omelet. Yeah. Oh. Potatoes. Oh. I try not to eat very many of those. Those are the baked potatoes that they had yesterday that they cut up Made and fried. Made in fries and yeah. with that some makes onion them so and good some pepper in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really does. I'm going to try not to eat very many of those. Though. This is the Mountain Quail Cafe, which kind of caters more to local folks here in Quartzite. Good stuff. Not everybody knows about this place because it's kind of off, off the beaten path. Right. It is good and a nice little, nice little atmosphere too. Well, this is Mike and Dave and they're cutting some metal for me, for my bus. And uh, this is for over my stove. And they're just gonna cut me off a little piece here. And Dave knows what he's doing. They have built some fantastic aluminum docks here. Easy as that. <laughs> That's going to be a brace for my muffler. My tailpipe. No, I don't need it, but thanks, sir. I appreciate it very much, guys. You, you have a great day. It's hot now. I'm going to be grabbing a little bit. I'm going to, I'm, I've, I've done that before. So here's a project that Jim did today. Uh, since we're back in Quartzsite before we're headed down to Yuma eventually. But right now, we're here, and so what he did remember when if you watched before you saw that we changed the direction that our tailpipe was going because it was originally going out that hole back there and it was covering our car and um, with the smoke uh, with the greasy stuff so Wes from Transcend Existence helped us re-aim it to a different direction but we needed, he said, you need to put something on there to hold it. So that's what he's been doing. He put this uh, bracket. It, here too. it comes out now over here. So it doesn't go directly on our car that way. And um, he put this big bracket across here. And this piece of metal on here. And this u-shaped bracket i guess i don't know what you call it that's holding it up so it's good and firm 
we can't move it now and that's what he did for that he said those famous words that all guys say when they tie something down he said that's not going anywhere so there you go there you go <laughs> that part's fixed so yay another project finished okay now what Jim's doing is um He's cutting out a little piece to go up on a roof above where our little stove is. I'll go in there and show you what he's cutting. Ceiling. The ceiling, not the roof. Ceiling. I'll go in there and show you where it's going to fit in a minute. Okay. Up here, you see our little cubic mini grizzly. And then when you follow it up, to the ceiling huh, look there's a big hole up there so that's the piece of metal he's cutting right now to cover up that hole and then we'll paint it and make it look pretty and we will eventually then get the faux brick put around here which is going to look like this under here so that's what he's working on right now. We'll see how it goes. Oh, he's bringing it in, so let's see how it looks up there. See it fits. The wrong way. Yay! That's a good fit. Cut a little off of it. Not too bad. No. Nope. Look good.